Hi, this is Alan Gilbert, Technical Specialist with Autodesk. And in continuation of our video series with regards to overlay and widening custom subassemblies, we're going to get started with the subassembly creation. And just as a reminder, in case you missed the introduction, we're basically making a subassembly similar to the overlay widen match slope one. With the exception, we're going to calculate the slope here. We're going to add a shoulder, but we're going to put a wedge to fill in an existing shoulder in between these two. So back to Subassembly Composer. And to get started here, I'm just in a blank file. I'm going to start with target parameters. You don't have to start here, but that's the way I like to run here. And first is going to be the surface. I'm just going to call this overlay EG. In other words, this is the surface that my slope computation is going to target. And I also need two offset parameters. So I'm going to change their type to offset. And this is going to be for EOP, edge of pavement, and one for edge of shoulder. So in the case that I have a feature line or alignment representing my edge of pavement and my existing edge of shoulder, maybe from survey, I can lock to those. So I've got my target parameters done. Let's move to the input parameters, input output parameters I should say. And I'm going to set the default value to right and I'm going to leave the side input parameter. And let's start with what would we need to input? Well lane width, let's do one for that in case we don't have a control alignment. And we'll create one for shoulder width. I guess we don't have alignment there or target. Okay, what else do we need? Well, I'm going to compute the slope of the existing surface and I'm going to pass that along to other subassemblies and I'm actually going to pass it within this subassembly. So we need an output parameter. So I'm going to go change this new one to output and I'll call this computed slope doesn't matter just any name so that's gonna be sent out okay so let's let's make a few more to make our life easier let's do um, for some of our coding so I'm gonna change the type to string and let's do shape code so we can key that in create another one change that to string set that to date on link code do another one for top link code again these are optional this is just some that I may need as I'm building these Let's do one for point codes too. Let's do string here for points code. Point code. And actually, let me take that to be more consistent. Okay. So input lane width, lane slope. That's good. We could we could make this more driven, but what we're doing here is we're not building the shoulder. We're going to let that attach separately. We're going to build the overlay section. And then we're going to build the wedge all in one subassembly. So we're going to call the wedge the its shoulder width. We'll just leave that name there. We could call it something else, but uh, we're just going to leave those names. So we got the width for the lane. If we want to key them in in the shoulder, we have the option to key in point code. We have the option to do top links, datum links. If we want to add those, shape code. So I can quickly assign a shape code later. I can make default values on all these. For example, for point code, I could do basic for my code set. Top datum shape code overlay sent for that wedge. Something like that. So that looks pretty good. 
We can go ahead and key in a name here in our subassembly. Call it wedge 10. And then in the next video, we'll since we've got our parameters set up here, we'll move on to the geometry part of subassembly creation.